Hi everybody, I'm Frank from Frank's 3D Shop and today I think we'll do a modification on this little monoprice mini printer uh, because I think that the cables under the bed are beginning to fail. Let's look at that. So this is a problem with those little printer uh, that is reported on uh, the Monoprice forum. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description of, uh, about this forum. The cables are too tight and, and too much of an angle going down in the, uh, inside the printer that it's too much on the cables. Uh, they will fail eventually. So instead of going down inside the printer, I'm going to reroute outside and there is many printed parts that you can use for this. I've chosen a design uh, that I like and we're gonna dismantle the uh, printer. Let's do that because I need to. <laughs> That's my work today. Go. Okay, first let's make some room. Now let's bring the printer. Ah, yeah. yeah, 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 I see. So you see the problem here? That cable is, be is beginning to fail, at least the insulation is beginning to fail because it's too steep. You know, I'm not at the end yet. Now, so those cables are really tight and they go, they bend. You see here, there is some stress here. They bend at 90 degrees. So, if you look inside, you see here, they bend here and there is some rubber that's chafing off. So you see I'm going to reroute the cables instead of going down inside the printer. They are going, they will be going out here and then do a loop and back from the side and for that uh, I already have printed this which is a new side panel this is where the cables gonna enter we have to dismantle a bunch of stuff and uh, make the cables longer and then that's it it's gonna be fine Bring you closer to see. Here. Look here. A bunch of scrapes from the rubber, the rubber grommet upside there. So that's not good. Let's do something first. I know that I have this video, but. Uh, Let's just label those, just to be sure, a marker. So, so that's it. So those are the cables we need. Let's undo the bed. Okay, this one is the switch for the Y axis, the limit switch for the Y axis. That doesn't move, so that doesn't go away. That doesn't need any new cables. Let's try to put this, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, here we go. So you have the thermistor here and the bed heating. 
that's it. So you see here, the cable is not almost gone. I think it's, yeah, it's gone. So that was, that is what happens uh, because of those tight corners. So I'm gonna replace that cable. And this one seems okay. Let's do that. Okay, I need bigger cables. This is a 18 gauge, 18 gauge, 300, no, 80C. Okay, found some cable, the right gauge. And then put some heat shrink. Writings red. Writing is red. Yeah. yeah, that's good. So let's put this around. that and then eat that's it writing is red I'm gonna put them on the other side because they won't go inside they, they would go outside okay not enough Heat. Okay, one. And then the writing's red on the other side. That's it. And then black. That's it. And the small one doesn't black and red doesn't we don't we don't care so and i think i have the same connector on that one yep so just gonna connect them directly i think that the little one will be enough not quite Everything is well connected, I think. Yep, that's good. Let's put back some Captain Tape. So this will be like this and the cables going in this way. So you have plenty of room to move. Yeah.
Okay. Let's do a home axis. And at the same time, let's heat. Let's start it preheat. Temperature seems good. We see 21 and 22 and is it going up? The nozzle is going up, so the cables are good. The bed, not sure. Not sure yet. Yeah, the bed, the bed goes up. It took its time, but it's going up like right now. It move easier. Maybe it's gonna do a difference. The cables are not stressed here. They are really loose. So, so it's good. So here is another way we could have done that. So we will enter the cable. This is the original. This is the original panel, side panel. And if we want to make the cable enter here, we could punch a hole here. And then use the drill press. it then we reuse the grommet that was underneath the bed that's it have a nice cable hole I think I'm gonna use this one yeah let's change this it's gonna it's gonna be sturdier and it's gonna be nicer I think and I think that my cable is, is long enough for this to be okay let's do that so let's do this again And at the same time, going to, to attach this little cable here, the, the last one that is going to the under the bed, and I'm gonna tie it up to the sor servo motor because I want it not to move with the bed, so it has to be tight, not too tight, but. Just a bit tight. So that's it. That's it. And this is still going well. No stress here. This is really loose. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I could turn this like that. Even nicer, I think. So you have the choice of this or that. This is easier.
So that's it for me. In retrospective, um, this little printer doesn't cost much. It prints out of the box. And I've printed about 200 hours, 300, between 200 and 300 hours with this printer without any problem. But after that, the cable being, you know, moved around and stressed enough, it's going to fail. Uh, everybody says it. If you go into the uh, forum, forums, you're going to see that everybody has that, that problem eventually. You, don't, you didn't pay much. It's easy to do this, this modification. It's four, four cable to solder, a hole to punch, a couple of zip ties, and that's it. Just follow along my video and it's going to be fine. Um, and I had fun doing it. So for me, it's not a problem. For you, if it's a problem, you can pay more like a, a Prusa uh, MK3 that's just coming out. It's going to cost you, I don't know, uh, up, upward of a thousand bucks. So this printer was under a 200 bucks um, on Cyber Monday. So doing that is not a problem for me. As usual, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and see you in the next video. Ciao!